Hello guys, it's John Sartre, we're doing another Beyblade discussion. So yeah, this one, uh, it's an interesting one. This is kind of a half news, half regular discussion type of video. Um, obviously the title is about random boosters. I will come back to that, but that's not the only thing for this video. Um, there's a lot here, I don't, I don't know how to title it honestly, but this is going to probably be the main thing, it is random boosters, but again, we're not starting with that. I have to introduce what, what's going on here and go through that first, so... New leaks just dropped. I usually don't cover these, um, and I don't plan to, but this one was kind of important for me because it kind of follows up some UX stuff I talked about and also the random booster discussion from a few months ago. So we've been getting product listings for a while now. Uh, we know there's going to be a random booster, a regular BX random booster in April. Uh, not UX, just BX. And then we are getting a UX random booster select in May. These have been out for a while now, I just wanted to say them just, just in case anyone didn't know. However, today we do have all of the products from June to September. A lot of products there. So, this is interesting. I'll just go through, run down the list real quick, and then we'll talk about them, alright? First up, June. BX33 Booster. July, we have two releases here. BX34. Starter and BX35 Random Booster. August UX6 Booster and UX7, the Battle Deck Set. And then in September, we have BX36 Random Booster. Uh, or, my bad, a Random Booster Select. And um, also in September, BX00, the internal code being a BXG7. Random Booster Select. Okay. I want to talk about the UX stuff first. So I mentioned in my UX video uh, a few days ago, I know this news is a little bit late, but I, I really want to talk about it. But yeah, um, I mentioned how I was really hoping that UX was going to take over BX because BX is really boring. I don't like the basic base that much. And I thought, you know, okay, March we're getting UX. There is a BX, you know, random booster in April, but I thought that might be like a, you know, kind of a February burst random booster where it was kind of just a collection of you know, things we already had. Maybe a rare prize, maybe like a, a Phoenix Feather prize or something to, to, you know, just put it in the main line. Or if we were lucky, Cobalt Drake, or maybe even a remake or something. And then, of course, we had the, you know, UX random booster select in May, and I thought that maybe we'd get more UX stuff. I was wrong. We are getting a BX base in June and July. Genuinely shocked that the July starter is a BX base. I really would have thought for a July starter that's generally the second biggest release of the year outside of the December starter. Really thought that they would go for a UX bay there. Guess not. Uh, I guess you could argue for plot reasons this makes sense, kind of, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I I feel like you could also make an argument saying that if they move up enough floors in the X Tower within the plot, like maybe more people just use UX bays because they're better. You could do that, but um, I guess not, so we're stuck with this. Um... I'm kind of mixing this one. On one hand, I don't like BX Bays that much, and I really wanted more UX stuff, and, well, it looks like July and August is just BX, or uh, not July and August, June and July, just BX. August is more UX, but then September's right back to BX. Don't like that. But on the other hand, I, I kind of understand for plot reasons, okay, maybe we'll just be getting UX Bays for, well, Persona, but maybe other teams, like it'll be like a Leon Claw, or just a Leon, I guess, UX Bay, and Phoenix or something, you know. Kind of the more prevalent bays might be getting UX versions, and also I'm assuming that these other BX bays from spring and summer will likely, you know, one of them will be kind of the team leader, and then they'll get a UX bay at some point. That makes sense, and I understand that, but at the same time, like I said, it, it just does feel a little bit bad. On one hand, you could argue that Maybe this will build up more hype for UX base. Maybe BX will be seen as the standard, while UX will be kind of a hype new thing whenever they come out. On the other hand, and kind of the way I'm looking at it, is we know what UX bays are, we know that they're generally really cool and have a lot more going on with them, and then that just makes the BX base feel more underwhelming. And that's how I feel about it. Maybe other people have different thoughts, or maybe they care more about the plot and um, how that interacts. Let me know what you think about that one, because again, I, I can see different sides of this one, and this isn't a issue that I would say is like set in stone. This is definitely, depends on the person. Me personally, I, I wish we had more UX, but again, 
Depends on the person, right? So now let's get into the title of this video after like five minutes. Yeah, I was right about random boosters. I made a video back in October where I talked about random boosters and I said, I had an issue with them. There, there's too many random booster selects are a bad idea. My biggest fear was that we were going to end up getting to a point where it looked like we were going to have random boosters like back to back months or maybe a one month break in between random products. And it was going to be like that, you know? So very, very few breaks. We were not going to get like more than, you know, a month off of, of random products. At the time, some people thought, you know, maybe I was a little bit crazy. Maybe I was uh, fear mongering a bit. However, you know, at the time, I can understand that, right? We, we had the September random booster uh, and the first random booster select with Viper Tail. We knew we were getting a random booster volume 2 in December, and we knew that there was a random booster select at the time was going to be either January or February. That's all we knew at the time. So, you know what? I can understand why people maybe thought that was a bit of a, you know, fear mongering there, right? <clears throat> However, we got those leaks with April and May, and now we have these leaks. Let's go through the lineup, right? 2023, September, our first random product, a random booster, right? October, random booster select. November, no random products. Okay, there's our month gap. <clears throat> December, random booster. January, no random products. Makes sense. February, random booster select. March, no random products. April, random booster. May, random booster select. June, no random products. July, random booster. August, no random products. And September, two random booster selects. We don't have anything more than a one month gap between random products. This goes from September 2023 to September 2024, a full year. 13 months of releases if you want to look at it that way, right? Not only was I right, but somehow it's worse than I thought. September, we're getting two random booster selects, and one of them's a BX00 release. I never in a million years would have ever thought that we would get a BX00, a technically a limited edition random booster. How? You know, and, and yeah, again, I was right, somehow. And I didn't want to be right. I really did not want there to be this many random boosters, but there are. Going again from September 2023 to September 2024, there are nine random products. Yeah, there's only four true random boosters, you know, okay, sure. But there's five random booster selects. I get it, random booster selects. Okay, there's only, there's only three bays. You're guaranteed the prize blade. I don't care. It's still more annoying than just getting a regular booster. It, it's worse. And that's the thing, it's like, okay, five of those is really bad, but like also, it's not like we had, you know, two regular random boosters. It's not like, you know, these are replacing some boosters, but some random boosters. And we have four full-on random boosters. Like, what's going on here? And these random boosters, they're one in, you know, they're, they're six bays in there, but they're weighted. The prize bay and the, you know, the recolor of the prize blade are both one in eight. Like, they're really, really trying to push random products badly on us. Um, and, and it's just like, why? So, at the time, I, again, I said this was not good, and I said it seemed predatory, and I didn't like it. You know, some people agree with me, other people thought, you know, maybe, you know, give it some time. You know, random boosters aren't all bad. And I do agree, you know what? Okay, first up, you know, in Japan, gacha culture is very big. I understand that. But also, you know, I understand why random boosters exist. It gives you reprints of parts, you know, and some of those parts might be, you know, previously locked in sets. You know, you, it gives it more accessibility. You know, more reprints potentially drives the cost of, you know, other parts down. It, it's a gen It just generally makes sense. And I also understand why prize bays are put in there. Because, well... If we got random boosters that was just six recolored bays, no one would buy them. Yeah, it'd be like a very, like, you know, very few people would, you know, just for maybe select parts, m most notably, like, competitive people. But the general public, they're not going to care. I would never touch a random product again if that was the case. So you have to put a prize bay in there to kind of, you know, sell them. I understand. It, it's kind of like a necessary evil. I, I get it. But I think four random boosters a year is really stretching. I think three is kind of the max that I'm fine with. I think four, you can, I guess, get away with four, but I don't like it. But then you tell me that they're also weighted against the prize bay. 
and then you add in five random booster selects. And while, yeah, it's one in three, and you're guaranteed the prize blade, it's not as bad, it's still just more gotcha. And I feel like it's to a point where I would 100% just say this is predatory behavior on Dr. Tommy's part with how they're marketing these and, and whatnot. Like, nine random products in that short of a window, that's absurd. Like, they're trying to get as much money as possible. And again, I understand gotcha culture. I understand it, it's big in Japan. But this is a, a special, like, level of insanity. Usually with gotcha, it, it's a little bit easier to deal with. Um, a lot of it's tied into games where you could at least, even if it's not great, you could at least get pulls without paying. Again, maybe not a lot of pulls, but you, you can. And then also, for other things, like, okay, you could look at Pokemon cards or any other training cards. You know, you could you could bring those up as, as an argument. Here's the thing. You got, like, ten cards in the pack, and they're also only a couple dollars, and yet, technically, usually there's only, like, one, maybe two slots in the pack that could have a ultra rare or whatever. But you always get other cards. I mean, there's stuff you can get. If you want to complete the set, you know, it's it's a little bit, I mean, it might take a lot of packs, but still. There's things you could do. I feel like you just get more out of it. If you don't get a rare out of a trading card pack, again, you have ten cards at the very least. You could say it's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. With a Beyblade, you're paying like a ten dollars. And this is based in Japan, not, you know, America, where you have to import stuff. You're paying like ten dollars for the chance to get a rare bay, and you just get one bay. If you get a recolor bay, it just feels terrible. At least with cards, even if you have every card, it's just kind of like at that point, yeah, whatever. But generally, if you're buying packs, you're going to get some new cards. With Beyblade, it's like, oh, I got a recolor. I might already have this bay uh, in, in its main color. It just doesn't feel good. And again, while I understand their existence, this many, like nine of them, what happened? Like, that's insane. The main defenses I've been seeing, it's just like, oh, I like random boosters because it's more colors. And it's like, okay. I feel like most people who are defending these are people who are, like, who are just willing to spend whatever and don't care about what they're spending on Beyblade, which isn't the best habit, but yeah. Uh, like, I, I, know, I know I spend a lot of Beyblade, but still, like, you know, I, I don't want to spend $60 on a prize today either, you know. It's not fun. Um... Some people like that. I've also seen some sellers who are uh, seem a little bit happy about this, almost. Um, I'm not going to name names, but still, I've seen a couple. Um, not many, but still. You know, they're probably happy because, you know, they, they get to uh, mark up the prices and, and whatnot. But, yeah. Um, although, I imagine not all sellers would be happy because, I mean, you also have to worry about, like, the stock of the other bays and those might be harder to deal with, but still. I guess if you're a seller, though, yeah, I mean, you might sell more random boosters. Anyway. Um, aside from those reasons, which are, I mean, that, that's very few people, a lot of it just seems like cope, like, oh, it's, it's not that bad, like, oh, you know, the, the, the random boosters are fine, they're not that bad, you know, you, you just pay for the one you want, it's like, I don't, I don't think most people actually want to do that, though, and again, I'm not trying to refer back to, like, my original video, because when people were reacting to that video, I didn't care as much uh, about what people said, like, negatively, because it's like, yeah, I understand, at the time, not a lot to go off of. I understand if, if, like, at the time it seemed fine, but I feel like by now it's, like, this is getting out of hand. And I feel like I'm going in circles, so I'll move on to the next thing, which is, uh, yeah, the fact that we're getting a BX00 random booster select, like, we're, this is probably going to be, like, what is it, like, the B4 store, I think, something like that. I think it's a new, like, WBBA store, uh, name anyway, the B4 store. I think that will probably be where these are. I don't imagine this is, like, a a rare bait get pedal random booster. Imagine that. That'd be ridiculous. But anyway. Um, but yeah, if it's something like that, it's still just like, okay, well, now it's harder to get this, and it's random. Like, unless... The only way I could see this making any sense is if it's like, okay, it's like a remake thing, and it's like, maybe you get like one of three remakes and they're all unique, and it's like, well, then it's like, I would have rather them just had like a, a three-pack, but still... I can at least understand, like, if they're all new. But I kind of doubt that. I, I don't... I don't know what this is even supposed to be. Like, a limited edition random booster. That's just insane to me. Um, I, I genuinely never would have expected something like, something like that. Like, it, it's so absurd. Yeah. Gotcha is just out of hand this gen entirely. They, they've completely gone off the rails with it. And not only random boosters. Like, like look at, um... 
like the rare bait get battle stuff like we're already up to what four prizes now cobalt drake golden hell scythe golden uh leon claw so it's like a black and green hell's chain within like a next couple months like that's a lot already um like they're really pushing gotcha for this gen and it's just like what happened can we can we not do this i don't know let me know anything about random boosters uh do i have a point here or am i still off my rocker am i am i still like not correct here. I don't know. I feel like at this point, it, it's getting harder and harder to really try and think of reasons to why this is fine. I, I feel like nine random boosters in the span of 13 months of releases, that, that that's a little bit absurd. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's bad. I, I think that's really, really bad. Um, and again, you know, we just got the leaks for, you know, June through um, September, four months of releases. Three random products within those four months. Amazing. Yeah, they are, um, they're really pushing these. Do I think this is going to be the death of Babel X? No. But do I think people are going to get more and more annoyed with these and potentially they might affect sales eventually? Uh, maybe. I, I do think it could be a, a bit of an issue. I think people might turn to Hasbro because from what I've heard from the leaks, Hasbro might not be doing random boosters or, well, I've heard that they aren't doing random boosters. Um, if that's the case, I'm expecting a lot of people to uh, flock to them, assuming that the bays are fine, and Hasbro doesn't mess them up, because this is just way too much. Uh, it, it's it's ridiculous at this point. Again, let me know what you think about the UX stuff and the random boosters. Um, I just want to talk about this. I probably went on too long, but it is what it is. I, I, I don't know. I hate random boosters. Any chance I get to jump on them, I will. And uh, this was quite a drop. I mean, getting nine random boosters in this short of a time, and also a... Uh, uh, a BX00 random booster? Yeah, I had to talk about that. But anyways, that's about it for this video. So yeah, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, and bye bye